What's up guys? Doing some uh, 2018 drift season prep. Uh, first thing, they let me slide last year, but I gotta make a tie down for my battery. It's sitting in a box, but it still is loose. So we gotta do that. And then, as you can see, this is at full lock. And the RX-8s don't have much steering angle. So I'm gonna jack it up, take the tires off, and see if I can shorten my, like uh, where the tie rods connect to the steering knuckle. See if I can shorten them up, get some more steering angle out of it. So here we are, got the car up in the air, got the tires and rims off, and now it's just a matter of disassembling everything here so I can get the steering knuckle off. Uh, I'm probably not going to show any of that just because it's boring, so I'll cut back once we have that all off. Check it out guys, we got Logan here helping out. What's up? He's, uh, he's going to take apart that side, and then what we got over here is this whole side apart, everything except the, uh, the lower joint here. But with that still hooked up, I have enough room to get in there and do everything I need to do. So um, from here, I'm just going to cut this and then uh, shorten it, clean it all up, bevel it, get in there and get a nice weld on it, and then uh, mount everything back up. So I'm going to keep going on that. All right, guys, it's the day before a drift event up in uh, Pocono Raceway. You might have seen that track if you watch NASCAR. I know probably most of you don't. However, they have a track on the infield that they let guys drift at. So here's all what I got to get done by tomorrow. So I got the front angle kit almost done. However, the problem is my wheel is rubbing. I got 10 millimeter spacers on here right now and it wasn't enough so uh, thanks to Amazon later today I should be getting 15 mil spacers but uh, the angle kit seemed to work pretty damn good got a lot more angle out of it anyway let me introduce you to this <laughs> yep Chevy Suburban 2500 it's a 93 pay a thousand bucks for it um, this is going to be the new tow vehicle. That old truck over there. Where is it? Yeah, I'm selling that. But anyway, so some more Amazon stuff here. I got the hitch receiver. I got to get that on today. Uh, Andy's going to be coming over in a little bit. He's going to help me do the wiring. Um, I can do it myself, but he, you know, is helping me out so I can be good on time. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep plugging away at this stuff and hopefully I can uh, get everything done by tomorrow. Oh, another thing. Because this track I'm going to requires fire extinguishers. I uh, got a fire extinguisher mounted it. Has to be somewhere you can reach it while in the car. And lastly, if I have enough time, I'm going to put my new steering hub on. If not, I'm just going to have to deal with the squeaking. Hey, what's up? Hi. Andy, myself. 
We're here at the first uh, drift event of the year for me. It's at uh, Pocono Speedway. I don't even know where the track is, but uh, I got the steering knuckle job finished up. So we have more angle this time around. And driver meeting is in 15 minutes, so we're gonna get some food and hang out. Day and he's dropping my tire pressure. Ooh, we yeah. are. Oh man, look at that. Just Looks like we are rubbing. I'll stick the jack handle in there. So I guess we gotta deal with rubbing. Lowering the tire pressure. It's a little, a little hot out here now, so the tire pressure's up, but still getting used to the track. And yeah, we got our own little crew over here hanging out. Yeah, we'll check it out when we get back out there. 